Hello, I'm Karen, the storyteller. Today's storytelling is supported by the Speak Good English movement, and I'll be reading from this book, Happy Mooncake Festival, Elena. Are you ready? Let's get on with our story. Here we go. Oh, there's the inside page. Ah, there's something here. I wonder what that is. Okay, the Mid-Autumn Festival is also called the Mooncake Festival. It is on the 15th day of the 8th month of the lunar calendar. Mid-autumn is the golden autumn season with sweet-smelling osmanthus blossoms and rich harvest of chestnuts. I believe that may be the osmanthus blossoms. Oh, look, what do you think that is? It's the moon. On the night of the Mooncake Festival, the whole family gathered together Mummy cooked a lot of delicious food. Look at that. Oh, lots of dishes. I see a fish there, some vegetables, meat. Elena had a great time. After dinner, Elena admired the moon with her grandmother. Grandma, my teacher said a lady named Chang Er lives on the moon. Elena said, yes, she does. Chang Er is a fairy. She took a potion and became lighter and lighter until she floated up to the moon. <gasps> Elena asked, is she lonely? Ooh, what do you think? Is she lonely or does she have a friend? Make a guess. Chang Er did have a friend and it was an animal. What do you think the animal is? That's right, it's a bunny. Chang'er had a lovely bunny friend and he stays with her, chats with her under an osmanthus tree. May I chat with the bunny? Elena asked her grandma. Sure, grandma said. Let's call the bunny on the moon. Hello, Elena. This is the bunny on the moon. Hello, bunny. Are you next to the Osmanthus tree? Yes. What are you doing now, Elena? I'm eating my mooncake. It is round, round like the full moon tonight. Look at the mooncakes. Do you know how to make mooncakes? Bunny asked. Yes, I do. I make mooncakes together with my classmates in school. Let's find out, shall we, how Elena and her classmates make mooncakes. Look, there they are. My classmates divided the work to make mooncakes. So let's find out what each of them did. This girl here says, I mix the dough. Mix, 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 mix. This boy said, I roll the dough. And he uses a rolling pin and rolls the dough out. And these two say, we add fillings. So they get some filling, they put it in the middle of the dough. And this boy says, I shape the mooncakes. So he uses a little mold, he puts the whole dough and filling there, and then he shapes it. And finally, they put it in an oven. That's right. The mooncakes are baked. Oh, look, there are many types of mooncakes with different fillings. Let's find out what the fillings are, shall we? There's egg yolk. Some people like the salted egg yolk. And it looks round like the moon. There's lotus seed paste. There's peanut sesame. And if you look carefully, you'll see the sesame seeds. There's five kernels. That would mean five different kinds of nuts and seeds. Then there's red bean paste. Green tea paste chestnut filling and there's a special kind of mooncake that's not baked and sometimes it comes in different colors that's the snow skin now i mentioned some fillings can you remember the names of the fillings well let's check it out let's see if you can remember one of these fillings was something i did not mention can you guess which one it is yes I didn't say peanut butter, right? 
Although maybe some people who put peanut butter in today, even durian. <laughs> right. Okay. So Elena goes on to tell the bunny, we also made lanterns with our teacher. The classroom looks really festive now. Let's see how many lanterns are hanging up there. One, two, three, four, five, six. And look, that one is a fish lantern. Wow. Okay. Ah, Elaine is going to show us how to make a lantern. You ready to learn? Okay, first of all, we got to get together the things we need. So you need some paper and scissors to cut the paper, some paint and a palette to put the paint on, and then you need a brush to paint with, and then some sticks, and string, some glue to glue it all together, and of course, to light the lantern, you need your candles. So let's find out how to do it. Step one, so draw a lovely bunny on coloured square paper. Look, Elena is going to show us how to make a bunny lantern. Then you fold the paper, then you cut the paper like this. This is the fold line. And when you unfold the paper, you'll see the cuts in the middle. Then you take a smaller piece of paper of a different colour and you roll it into a tube. Then you take yet another piece of paper and cut a sun shape or a moon shape. And then you glue it to the bottom of the tube, this tube. Then you take the bunny paper and you glue it around the tube. Notice how it's glued? That some bits are sticking out and it's not glued flat down. Then last of all, you put your candle in the middle of the base of the tube. You glue a string to form a handle and then you loop the string around a stick. And of course, for your lantern to work, you need to light the candle and put it inside, right? Like this. So I have a lantern here. And of course, mine is not as nice as the bunny lantern. And look at that. Oh, there's a little light. I'm going to turn it on. Oh, look. Can you see it? That's a lantern with a string glue. Okay. Now, many lanterns are round in shape. And Elena tells us, lanterns are round and this symbolizes the togetherness of the family. Right, so let me just check, what did I just say? Why are most lanterns round in shape? That's right, because the round lanterns symbolize the togetherness of the family. Oh. Elena tells us what else she did in school. Okay, my teacher taught us to write the Chinese characters for mid-autumn and togetherness. So mid-autumn is Zhong Qiu and togetherness is Tuan Yuan. Right? Those are the Chinese words and they write. Look, pen and ink and she's writing the words. Oh, and grandma made of Memphis jelly cake. It is made of osmanthus blossoms and glutinous rice flour. And it looks like a square pudding. If you look carefully here, oh, actually Bunny's looking at it. And Bunny says, that sounds yummy. It sure does. Oh, what is this now? Is this not very beautiful? That looks like a peacock. What is it? Well, let's find out. Daddy and Mommy brought me to the beautiful lantern displays at Gardens by the Bay. Wow! So they make these big, beautiful, giant lanterns and they light it up. Obviously, it's at night. That's Elena with her little round lantern, right? <gasps> wow! Isn't this pretty? There are these beautiful lantern flowers that are strung up there, some lantern pagodas, and some birds and flowers. So beautiful. So that's the lantern display that she went to see. What else? Elena, I can see the river lanterns. So it's like a lantern that forms what looks like a river. 
or they carry loving thoughts and blessings to people far away. Really? Elena said. I want to watch them float down the river. Wow, I do too. Oh, Elena's telling the bunny more. Bunny, I have Japanese, Korean and Vietnamese friends in my class. They also celebrate this special day. You know, we are admiring, admiring, sorry, we are admiring the same full moon tonight. See, these are friends from Vietnam, our friends from Korea, and our friends from Japan. And everyone's admiring the same beautiful full moon. Bunny, thank you for talking with me. Can I call you in the future? Of course, Bunny said happily. Good night, Bunny. Good night, my little Elena. And Elena cuddles up with this big bunny here. Now I wonder, is Bunny real? Do you think Bunny is real? I wonder who Bunny could be. Does Bunny really live in the moon up with Chang'e? Well, we take a look at this. Bunny says, that's Bunny. I love to listen whenever you wish to talk. Happy Mooncake Festival, Elena. So, who do you think Bunny is? I hope you enjoyed the story and I hope you will be inspired to find out more about the Mid-Autumn or Mooncake Festival. And if you want to know about more activities about the festival, do check out the Facebook and Instagram pages of the Sun Yat-sen Nanyang Memorial Hall. Happy Mooncake Festival, everyone!